Hello and welcome to the Olympus Around the World series of instruction videos made for the Omniscan X3. My name is Wilbert Rooyakkers, I work for Olympus Netherlands and in this movie I'm going to show how you can make a raster scan by just using a mini wheel encoder. I have prepared already a setup file that contains the settings for the probe. I save the setup file after I perform the calibration, so the calibration settings are stored in the setup file. I also adjusted some views, so when recalling the file, the A, C and S scan automatically appear in my screen. Next step is that I have to tell the instrument that I want to make a raster scan. Go to the scan menu, select inspection and change the inspection type from time to raster encoded. Some additional buttons appear. Go to the edit encoders button, select the mini wheel encoder and verify in the scan axis encoder tab if the encoder moves in the right direction. Simply place the probe and the encoder on your object and move it in the scan direction and look to the actual position. In this case it counts down, so it moves in the wrong direction. I have to change the polarity. Now I can see that it increases and it moves in the right direction. So this is now set correctly. Next step is going to the index axis clicker uh, tab and verify the resolution. The resolution value uh, determines the distance between each scan line. I see an aperture of 15 mm based on the settings that I did for the, for the probe. So when I change the resolution also to 15 mm, that means that each next scan line comes next to the other one. I can also set a preset value and select set the preset to on. Setting the preset to on means that each new scan line starts at the zero position. Switching the preset off means that you can work in a zigzag pattern. It's up to you what you prefer how to work. I leave it to on. Now I say done. Next step is defining the scan area that I'm going to do. Go to the area and enter the proper values. By tapping on the index button, a new menu appears on top and you see the clicker button already available. Now I'm ready to start my scan. And now I'm ready with the scan that I did. Thank you for watching this instruction video.